on over to Kristen Hallett, who's on location this morning at ACAD. And Kristen, will you be throwing a pot in this segment? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I'll be throwing a pot and possibly making it fall to its knees. They go. <laughs> Have you done that before, Jill? It's a fragile a medium. It's it's there is a large margin for error. I'm learning that there's a lot of skill involved in this, but first of all, it's like surgery. Look at this scalpel, or I mean, you could have a pedicure in the middle of it all. But really, it is because it's all about well. I'm not going to tell you what it's all about. We'll have Mia tell you a little bit about what is what is the trick here because it looks like the center of the universe right in the center there. Yeah, so it's all about keeping the clay on balance and not accidentally, you know, throwing it off or anything like that. So you kind of have to be really gentle with it and I don't know. Um, yeah, especially when you're making big things. See, I'm sitting here and it's almost like therapy watching the two of them do this. This is Katie over here as well. But maybe that's because it really does. Do you feel that it maybe sets you on balance too? You're just here putting this on balance. Yeah, for sure. When you're in the studio throwing, you can kind of just become mesmerized in the thing that you're making and get into a rhythm. Okay, now you can notice right here there's a difference in the clay we're throwing. Is that the right terminology? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, so what are you working on over here, Katie? Um, so I like to use red clay, yes. Mia likes to use white clay. Um, it's just a difference in color and I like the way it interacts with the glazes. So, To each their own in the clay department. Now in front here are some of the finished products uh, by Mia and they are going to be available this weekend, Friday 10 till 7, 11 till 7 and Saturday 10 till 6. You can actually come down here. There's going to be a whole lot going on. What would you say that your, I guess, style is? Uh, so my work is inspired by the landscape and I definitely play a lot with the contrasting elements of like ice and rock or water. Um, so like, I'm using a lot of blues and greens. The cool thing I've seen this morning is walking around, there are actually a lot of businesses in Calgary who have commissioned getting uh, pints done or pots. If you were thinking maybe you're starting up a business, maybe you're building a new home and want to have something match and it be only yours, you can come down here and talk to the students. Have you done any of that? Uh, I haven't, no, but there's lots of stuff going on in the studio where people are doing commissions and working for restaurants, making cups, wonderful things like that. All right, well, I'm learning a lot down here. Another tip, don't wear a black blazer in the ceramics room. Don't do that. It's a I've little dusty. That. A little dusty it's there. Just a little. I can imagine. <laughs> you can get a little mucky. A little mucky.